Hello and welcome to F124. There's been a lot of hate about this game. Um, I'm, I've played a couple races already. It's not the best game, but I still want to make a career mode because new game. We'll just jump straight into it here. My team career mode actually exists, but uh, I take it that's the exact same as uh, every other year. So we're just going to drive straight in or jump straight into a driver career and uh, we'll see what this is. So um, we are actually going to uh, start in F2. I want to work my way up and see how that works. So um, this is the 23 um f2 grid um so i'm gonna do the full season we're gonna do a long session length um 45 minute practice 50 percent feature and 50 percent sprint uh we're obviously going to do the sprint and the feature uh full qualifying so uh 30 minutes to set fastest lap and fastest lap gains pole for the feature race and two points so um practice is also going to be a single session um so that's what we're going to do for the Formula 2 season. Uh, career settings, we're going to do driver moves and uh, medium entry. I don't want it to be easy for me. Um, R&D management, that's going to be on. We're going to do, uh, I guess we're going to do default for both of these. Fault frequency, we're going to do standard and standard on the types as well. So rules and flags, we're going to do on corner cutting, regular. I'm a NASCAR driver. I, <laughs> or I'm a NASCAR game player. I, I, I'm going to be cutting corners, not intentionally but i'm going to try my hardest not to um park fermé is going to be on pit stop is going to be immersive safety car i'm going to leave at standard uh experience i'm also going to leave at immersive uh the formation lap i'm going to leave on and uh immersive and red flags we're going to leave standard so so that's all of the settings that we're going to do so we're going to confirm those settings okay so i'm going to do a custom driver i i want to be a uh different person so I'm not going to be a re real driver. Um, let's see. Do they still have Kevin Harvick looking guy in here? Oh, they do. Beautiful. They haven't changed that at all. Um, country, obviously American. Do they still have Wang? Wang. Yes, they do. Let's go. All right. We're going to be Wang. And uh, driver number, we're going to be uh, number 69. There it is. And uh, yeah, that's going to be our identity. And uh, we're going to jump into the Academy Select. So... Um, I really, I think I'm going to go for the, um, I want to try and go with the, uh, Ferrari, uh, Driver Academy. Um, we got the choice of Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Alpine, and McLaren. Um, I'm going to try Ferrari because I feel like that's got a better shot of getting into, uh, Formula One once I have finished. I don't know if the cars are, um, equal or not in Formula Two, but I'm going to assume that they are. So, uh, we're going to be Art. So the teammate, uh, we are going to pick uh Teo Porsche I've had good uh sittings with him in the past um of games this is the first one I've actually recorded so um I think Teo Porsche is going to be a good option for us but we're going to be straight into Bahrain here there is nothing else we can do in Formula 2 so uh we've got 14 races for the season and there's no audio I was kind of I was kind of expecting them to have audio but uh yeah there's 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 no audio what the hell? Okay, so I guess we're just getting straight into it here. Um, we've got practice, and uh, yeah, we got our acclimatization. We've got our tire management and our race strategy. So I guess I'll get these done, and uh, if anything funny happens, I'll cut in. What the hell? This isn't what I picked. What? This is all fucked up. What? Huh? I was in... Wait a minute. I'm not in the Alpine Academy. I'm in the Ferrari Academy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What the hell is this game? So, take a look at the practice results here. So, we ended up P1. Behrman, Fittipaldi, uh, Cordial, and Porsche ended up P5. So, we'll scroll down through the rest of this year. Uh, we only ran a handful of laps. Um, there you see at the bottom, uh, 145.73. So, we only ran a handful of laps. We we're a second, just a little bit over a second ahead of uh, last place. So, um and only about three tenths faster than ollie bearman so we're actually pretty quick yeah so we'll move on to uh qualifying and um oh we got resource points uh no we didn't actually because we're in formula two our rate our experience rating went up a little bit overall we're still the same but uh we're gonna be going into qualifying now so this is a 30 minute session um for formula two and you just go out there and run a fast lap still no audio for this God damn it. And we have a fault in our okay, system. Fantastic. Let's skip through that. 
Then once we have the repair done, we will jump out there on the soft compound tires and get a qualifying lap done. Yes, Park Fair May, I understand. So we're going to do a flying lap here. We're going to see what we can do. Um, I anticipate being toward the top just based on uh, how our practice times were, but um, qualifying trim could be a little bit different. So um, there we go. Now we're going to... Now we're going to have control. Vittipaldi just about screwed up my lap there. Um, got, luckily, he uh, ended up pulling over to the side for us. So um, uh, we did lose a little bit of time there, I would think. But uh, that was on me because I am still struggling handling these cars on soft tire compound. Apparently, in practice, you are locked down to the hard compound. So... Um, this is actually the first laps on softs, so uh, we're going to overdrive the shit out of that corner. <laughs> oh, man. I also have the racing line on because I suck at Formula 1. Alrighty, coming to the line here. We're going to be a 141, 141.13, uh, so that's going to put us at the top of the grid for now. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, come, come back in. And uh, we'll sim the rest of it and see what happens. All right, so we are a second ahead right now of Darubula. So um, I think we've got a, I think we've got a buffer so far, but uh, we're gonna go to the end. Well, closer to the end of this session, just in case. Um, but I think we're pretty solid on this time. We're a second ahead. All right, so we did end up with the pole. Theo Porsche uh, in third. Blue, we got two points already. So. Um, in our first race, we've already scored two points um, without even racing. So um, we'll take a look at the rest of it here. So Darubala, second back, uh, Porsche, Leclerc, and uh, Ollie Behrman are the top five. And uh, we'll keep scrolling down through here, take a look at where everyone is at. So Jack Crawford is the last guy. Um, he is 2.3 seconds behind us. So um, pretty decent spread there for Formula 2. Uh, we'll advance. And uh, the next thing we've got, oh, what the hell was that? So the next thing we've got is the sprint race. Um, ratings did not change. I didn't expect them to. Actually, the pace changed a little bit, so uh, we might be getting a little better here. Oh, yeah, 66 overall. All right, so I qualified on the pole. Um, yeah, we don't need to do any other strategies. Hards is going to be the way to go. I qualified on the pole, and I'm starting in 10th, so I'm guessing there's an invert that I didn't know was a thing in Formula 2, so... Uh, we'll take it, I guess, but uh, we got a formation lap coming up now. Um, car felt pretty good in practice. Um, do our practice start here. There we go. Got off the line very well there. So, um, yeah, we got the formation lap. Um, I'm guessing, like I said before, there's some sort of, uh, some sort of um, invert that I didn't know about, but uh, holy hell, we're crawling around here for the formation lap so we're just going to take this opportunity to warm up our tires and uh get ready for the start all righty coming out of the final corner we were not really able to warm up our tires we were crawling um so we're just going to try and do it here uh -huh. jesus christ um so we got to park on the grid now um front tires are not very warm so we're gonna have to figure that out but uh oh shit i overshot it god damn it I thought I, I thought I was good. I thought I was good. But uh, regardless, forming up the grid now. So I'm still trying to figure out why I'm in a BWT Alpine uh, fucking Alpine Academy car. But so we are green and we know we qualified in front of these guys. So um, we got to just make sure we can get in there without wrecking it. And uh, oh, 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 shit. Oh, they squeezed me there on the uh, apex there, but we dropped all. We dropped back into 12 on the start. Um, no big deal there. Um, we can work our way back up through the field. I feel like unless these guys are just going to be three wide the entire time, which I highly doubt. Looks like they are right now still, and we're we're sliding around. And I don't know who the fuck that was that just passed me, but I don't have any grip. I just don't have any grip. I don't know what happened. I didn't think the tires were that cold, but apparently they are. I just don't have any grip, and I am trying to dive down into 12 or into trying to dive underneath P12 there, take it away. We're down into P13, so oh man, this is not going well. This is not a good start. Not a good start. We make a little bit of contact there, but we just don't have any grip getting started. 
uh, in the turns, I just roast the tires. I don't know what's going on there, and I'm just like if I if I barely press it, it doesn't it does you know it doesn't go anywhere. But if I if I just give it a little bit more than a little just a little bit more than a tiny bit of throttle, it just spins. So I I got to figure out the throttle here. Um, apparently, in a race, it feels different. So I hope he forced us on there. Um, we're trying to pass this damn guy, but we can't get around him. He's just he's just making his car so damn wide. Like, I cannot get around him. But we're going to dive bomb him here into the final corner. And, oh, we made more contact with him. Oh, my God. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Now we need the DRS. We just need DRS. We need to get in range with Daruvula here. And, uh, no DRS yet. So, I'm guessing these are still on the 2023 rules for Formula 2. But we're going to dive down into turn 1. And, uh, we're going to try and get by him, but... I don't know, man. This is going to be tough. So we're right on the back of Daruvula here. He's got us on the straightaways. We just cannot get the grip going, getting on onto the straightaways and getting out of the turns. Our grip is just that low. Um, I've got it on a balanced setup, but we're going wide here. Holy hell. Um, we got fastest sector in sector two, so I know we're not slow. And now the DRS is enabled, so we're going to be able to get into uh get some drs on daruvula and probably be able to pass him now this drs is going to be helpful <laughs> that is for sure we need the drs because we do not have the straightaway speed compared to these guys so just need to make sure that we can get in front of him or at least get up to him and it looks like he's got drs on hadjar as well so uh we just got to make sure that we can keep on daruvula and we are loose holy shit we're sliding tight the uh Temperatures look fine. I don't know why the car is sliding around. I'm not giving it a ton of throttle. I mean, I'm giving it probably half throttle. You can see the throttle trace down at the bottom of the screen. I'm giving it probably no more than half throttle getting out of these corners until I'm straight. And uh, the car just doesn't have grip. But uh, into the DRS zone again. On Jerubala, we're going to have it again. So um, I believe Stanek has it on us as well. But uh, he's going to be too far back. And uh, we are going to try and get into striking distance of Daruvula. But we are struggling here. That is the problem. Struggling in traffic. I think we would have been fine if it would have actually started us on pole. But um, like I said, there's probably some invert rule that I just didn't know about. So um, that's unfortunate. But we are the fastest in Sector 2 again. And now we're starting to... These tires are starting to grip up a little bit better every lap. So... Um, might be able to pass him here out of turn, out of this final turn down on the uh, main straightaway. So we're going to see. I don't know why we're so good through sector two and then everywhere else we're just slow. That's where we lose all of our time is everywhere else. And we're just going to dive bomb him. Swap over. We definitely made it in aggressive. I didn't think I hit him, but I guess we hit him. So I was that was an aggressive move. Way more. Oh, my God. I forgot I had DRS. Son of a bitch. Well, now I'm out of DRS zone, so that's pretty cool. I can't figure out what damn menu I want. Fuck. Here we go, down to the turn one. We're going to try and dive bomb him here again. Locking up. Oh, God. Oh, God. We made it. We made the pass. Got a little bit loose there off the turn, but we made the pass. Uh, that was very, very dirty move to dive bomb him like that. Okay, so I guess I got to push fuel. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was pushing hard enough to uh, run out of fuel, but... Uh, apparently, according to this, I'm not, so I guess I'm going to push a little bit harder, and I don't, uh, if I push harder, I'm going to wreck, so, oh, man, 1.6 laps left of fuel, what the, I'm confused, I don't know what this new feature is, it's confusing me, but there is no way I'm going to burn that much fuel, because I am sliding all over the place, if I start pushing more, I'm going to burn off my damn tires, but uh, we've got Hadjar right in front of us. And uh, we're going to try and get him in Sector 2, because that seems like our... Or we're going to try and gain time on him in Sector 2, because that seems like where our best times are happening. So um, we're still the fastest Sector 2 every time. God damn, we're faster here. I don't know I don't know how we're fast, but uh, we're going to try and get Hadjar here. we got to get him on a straightaway. That's where we're going to do it here. Um, I think we're coming through the final turn here Let's try and get some uh drs on him here which we do um 
Gonna see if we can get them here, but I think... Oh, we got the fastest lap. What the hell? Um, I'll take it. We just gotta get past Hadjar. Um, he's gonna... We're gonna dive bomb him here, too. All the way through the inside. And we pass Hadjar, and I don't think we hit him. I don't think we hit him. But, uh, we still have DRS. We're on a... Now we gotta chase down Iwasa, so... Um... Got to make sure we're on defense on Hadjar as well, because he's still going to be right behind us with uh, DRS. So um, we are start we are burning off our tires pretty significantly, though. These rear tires are not holding on, so we need to figure out how we can save tires a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we're trying to burn this fuel, but it's not working. So sector two is our best uh, opportunity to pass here. Well, maybe not to pass, but um, to make up time on Iwasa here. So. Um, we just got to make sure that we stay right behind him, gain a little bit of time, and then try and get him out of this final corner. That's just out of the final corner, down the main straightaway, and into turn one. That's going to be our best passing opportunity into turn one. So we just got to make sure we can stay right behind him in striking distance. Tires are falling off the rear of the car. We're halfway through this race. So we just hit the DRS zone out of the final turn. We've got our... Um, we're not going to be in within striking distance into turn one. Um, so we're gonna have to break, break, break. Well, we might be able to. Right underneath them, we make a little bit of contact. A little bit more than I wanted to, but we're forcing them off the track. Our rear tires are just not gripping up. And, uh, I don't think we got any damage, but we definitely hit them. So, we should be okay. Um, I'm not sure why we didn't get a, uh, collision warning there as well, but I'll take it. Um, <laughs> everything looks good. The right front tire is not worn very well, but... Everything else is pretty worn, so uh, we've definitely been burning off the tires a little bit here in some of these corners, but um, they are starting to come in. Rears are not happy with how I'm driving, so just got to make sure the throttle is uh, applied very, very smooth. This is, a, this is a learning curve for me. I love Formula One, but and I've played the games in the past, but this just feels so much different than the other ones, so um, Iwasa is behind us as well. He's got DRS, so he's going to be able to uh, be within striking distance on us again. So apparently, even though he's in DRS range, we're increasing by a second a lap. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. Um, I'll take it. And we just got to make sure we're in uh, DRS zone, which we do. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, apparently, we weren't in DRS zone there. So um, we lose it on Miney. I don't know how to pronounce that. But uh, we lose uh, DRS on him, which... Uh, I think it's bullshit because I definitely was in the DRS detection point uh, within a second of him. So, um, unfortunately, we do lose that. We are gaining time on him, so not too worried about it. Not not gaining a ton of time, but we're gaining some time. Tires still not happy. We're eight laps into this race, so we're about three quarters in. Um, man, oh man. We've got to try and save these tires because I feel like that's what's hurting us right now. That is definitely hurting us. So we're trying to keep these rear tires on. We are trying to catch Miney here, but um, Sector 2 is where we got speed. I don't know why, but that is, for some reason, our fastest. I'm not complaining. Um, we are right in striking distance now, so we should have DRS down this main straight once again. Um, Iwasa will not have DRS for us, so um, we're going to start pulling him as well. And uh, down the main straightaway, we're going to throw on our DRS. And we are still far enough behind to where they're pulling us, but we're kind of in no man's land here. Even though we're in DRS detection point, we are in no man's land. And it's just not going well for us. Uh, damn, we're sliding out of the corners and everything. We lost three tenths there. Right out of the, out of the first set of corners, we lost three tenths, so... Got to make sure that we keep these tires on. That's the biggest thing. That's the hardest thing I've had so far. So we've got a new uh, challenge here. We've got to pass Miney. Um, he's about a half a second ahead of us, which it's possible to do. Um, the only problem is I got to keep these rear tires on, and that's the hardest part. I have just been burning the absolute shit out of these tires every single corner, and I just, I've, had, I've been having a hard time keeping these on, but... Um, we are right there, within three tenths. Just gotta make sure we're within striking distance when we come out of this final corner. And then we might be able to pull them on DRS, but, uh, man, oh man, this is difficult. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So we've got DR- we opened our DRS now, 
And we are down the front straightaway on Miney, and we're going to try and get him all the way down here. We're going to dive bomb clean, clean into the turn. And we take the position away. We are into P8. Cars sliding around. Tires are gone. We don't have any tires left of this thing, man. Oh, geez. Now we got to catch our teammate, Tail Porsche. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that by the end of this race, but it's worth a shot. Um, like I said, our tires are gone. They've been gone since like lap four or five. So um, grip levels are very, very low. We're going to try it, but um, if we can't, no big deal. I'd be happy with a P8, even even after a pull um, and the invert that I definitely didn't think was a thing. All right, down the main straightaway, we've got DRS on Porsche. We're going to try and get him down in the turn one. I don't think we're going to be within striking distance. We're about three-tenths of a second ahead or behind him, so um, we might be able to. Actually, we've got to run. We've got to run. We're dive-bombing again. I guess that's our move. We're just going to dive-bomb down into turn one. And we actually cleared him with no problem, so... Um, oh, maybe not. We didn't clear him yet. He's right there on our left side. So, got to make sure we can clear him here down into the final turn, or into the uh, turn here, out of the DRS zone. And we do. So, we have cleared Teo Porsche. We're up into P7. Um, we're moving. We're moving up through the field. We got a couple laps to go. We, I don't know what we, I think we hit the floor on the apex there. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to get P6, I don't think. Uh, Arthur Leclerc is a little bit too far ahead of us to get in DRS zone, but uh, now we got to be on defense with Porsche and Miney, so um, that's our next next objective, to try and defend our position. Look at this! Look at this! Teo Porsche has gone to the outside, off track limits. Like, over track limits. What the hell is the AI doing? That's not legal. You cannot do that. Why would you do that? That, what? Why? Why? That's not legal. Now I gotta defend his ass because he's in DRS zone. Oh my god. I gotta fucking... I know that was illegal as hell, but the game doesn't call it ever, so... Um, down into turn one, we've got Teo Porsche and Miney right behind us. They have both caught us on the final lap here, so... Oh, jeez, this is not going well. This is not going well. I did not think he was able to pass there, but uh, apparently he's able to go across the white line and pass. So I guess I'm going to start using that. I don't know. We're holding them off pretty well so far. So Brad Bennett, Ben, Ben, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I don't know any of the Formula 2 guys, but we come home P7. Brad Benavides, or however, however you say that, um, he ends up winning the race. So um, driver of the day. Oh, it's us. What the hell? I guess we gained some spots. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I still don't understand why we're in an Alpine car, but uh, in the in the uh, Ferrari Driver Academy. But uh, yeah, look at the uh, celebration from him. And this is just the sprint race. We've got another race uh, for the feature that's four laps longer. So podium celebration, beautiful scenes from all of them on the podium celebration, and there they go. No music. What the hell? So the, uh, take a look at the uh, sprint race results. Benavides, Hauger, Behrman, Novolak, and Vesti end up in the top five. We end up P7 just in front of our teammate, Theo Porsche. And we'll take a look at the uh, rest of the finishing order here. So it looks like for the sprint race, it is the top eight that get points. Um, so both of our team, uh, both both of our uh, team members ended up finishing uh, in the points. So double points there. Um, we'll take a look at the uh, weekend. So, so far we have five points. Uh, we're sitting in fifth for the weekend. So, um, pretty good there. We'll advance to the feature race and uh, we will see what we can do. Looks pretty good there. We shouldn't, yeah, I was going to say, we shouldn't be up above 67. So, looks like all of our ratings there went up no problem. All right, so I went and looked up the, the uh, uh, rules for Formula 2. So, it, uh, after qualifying for the sprint race, it inverts the top 10. So, um, we are on the pole for the feature race. I should have known this because I should have read when the game said so, but um, I didn't read, so <laughs> um, I just kind of jumped into it. So, uh, we'll take a look at the race strategy here. So, our uh, default strategy is the um, uh, softs to hard, so no big deal there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the race and get on the with the uh, formation lap. All right, so we are forming up to the grid here, trying to get the tires warmed up and keep that engine as cool as possible. We are going to kind of sit here and do a little burnout. So 
That way we got the rear tires warmed up a little bit more and we're not going to miss it this time. There we go. Perfect this time. Perfect parking this time. So uh, waiting for the rest of the grid to fill out. Um, oh, perfect. We're going to have uh, some warm tires now. So um, maybe. There we go. Getting ready to go green. And it's lights out and away we go for the Formula 2 feature race. Let's go. We got to try and pull away from these guys as quick as we can. We are quick on the softs, so dive it down into turn one. Nobody's going to get underneath me. And we're just going to try and drive away from this as fast as we can. We got to drive out of DRS range as well. That way when the DRS is activated, they cannot get to us with the DRS. So, um, Daruvula, all of these guys still within a half a second of us down into the next turns. Still trying to hold on here. Wow, they are really actually kind of holding on. Um, I'm kind of limping it through here just so I can not only save the tires a little bit more than I did the last race, but uh, um, definitely try and get these guys out of DRS range. That's the biggest goal. Once I'm out of DRS range of these guys, then um, I'm going to start saving tires pretty heavily, but uh, shouldn't be too difficult. These guys are a little bit slower than me on the softs. Um, just got to make sure we hold on to it for the end. Got a little bit loose there um, out of the first set of turns, but Teo Porsche is very cl has closed that gap very quickly. Um, we're both a second ahead of these guys, third on back, but I definitely pulled a dirty move there and missed the corner and all that. Just a combination. Um, but Teo Porsche is right behind us. He's just under a half a second behind us. That is our teammate. So we just got to make sure we don't rough him up, nor uh, really fight him as hard as we should. But uh, so far, keeping uh, these guys at bay, um, Teo Porsche is going to try to pass me at some point. Um, probably once he gets DRS, he's going to be able to pass me on any of these straightaways. So just need to make sure that we can get him to a point where he's far enough behind to where he's out of DRS zone. But... Uh, Car is feeling pretty good so far early on on these uh, soft tires, so we're just going to try and hold on to this, save the tires as best as we can, and uh, wait until we get on the hards. Look at Teo Porsche closing that gap. Oh my god. He is so much faster than me. What the hell? Oh my god. And the DRS is going to be activated this time around, so um, he will be having DRS on the, straight, on the uh, next straightaway we have, so... Oh, damn. They're actually running faster laps than me, too. Um, we ran a 144.8. I believe that was a 144.2. Right on my back end. Oh, my God. Teo Porsche not giving any room. Look at this. A little loose out of there again. on Under throttle. But Teo Porsche and I believe Daruvula is also going to have a DRS. So, we just got to make sure these guys don't get around us. They're going to get right up to my rear wing here. Hit the... Oh, we got sideways there. Still sideways. Man, oh man. But uh, he got there. He's there. Daruvula is also there. So we just got to make sure it's through sector two. Because that is our fast sector. And, you know, that's what it's been the whole time. So we just got to make sure through sector two we gain as much time as we can. They're going to have DRS again. Or at least Porcher will have D uh, DRS. Um, Daruvula will also have DRS, and it looks like everybody behind us is going to have DRS, if we're being honest. So, um, man, if, if one of these guys gets by us, there's going to be a train that goes by us. So we just got to make sure we keep Teo right behind us, and, uh, just hold on. Here comes Teo down the front straightaway. Yeah, we're not going to block that one. He's going to go straight up the inside. We're going to try and swap him, actually try and swap to the inside now down into turn one we make a little bit of contact there no big deal nothing broke i don't think it doesn't feel like anything broke but uh, we are going to have drs now on porsche and daruvula is also going to be behind us we have ruined these tires oh my god four laps into this race they are destroyed just got to stay behind porsche just got to do it try not to slide the tires oh man we might have to pit early down through the DRS zone. We lost a lot of time on Porsche. Daruvula is right behind us. We're just all over the place. Car is not handling good on these worn tires. I have <laughs> I've destroyed the tires, that's for sure. I've done them a lot faster than I thought I would. So, um, 
hopefully we can get through this, but uh, I'm not really sure we're going to make it to lap 8 to box, so... Oh, man. We're going to be out of DRS zone on Porcher, too. So we got Darubula, who's behind us, who has DRS. Leclerc also has DRS, and Behrman, I believe. All Actually, I think everybody has DRS. It's just a line of cars behind us that we're just holding up. Ah, damn it. Darubula got to our outside. There he goes into the turn. We're going to have DRS right here. Beautiful scenes right back in front of him, and we're going to have DRS on Porsche, or that we can use on Porsche because we got in front of Darubula there, or behind Darubula there for a little bit, and uh, he's not going to have DRS, so he's going to be swallowed up by the field. Try and use that to our advantage to catch Porsche, but he has gained a two second lead on us, so I think I'm the one holding up the field. I'm not going to lie. All right, so Darubula's got DRS. Everybody's got DRS. Oh, that was frowned upon. Oh, I should not have done that one, but I did. Here comes Leclerc. He's going to go to the outside. We're three wide down into turn one. And I believe I'm going to have DRS on somebody. Yeah, I'm going to have DRS on Leclerc, who is now into the third position. Um, I guess I was behind him, so I'll take it. Um, <laughs> We're going to drive away from them, hopefully. We just got to make sure we can... We got to make sure we can t catch Porsche, which I don't think is going to happen. He is just driven away, and these guys are freight trained in behind me. So, I'm definitely the one holding up the field. Um, guess I got to burn some fuel in a couple laps. Um, that's not going to happen, because I am already fucking sliding all over the place, so... Let me just burn some fuel, game. Let me, yeah, let me just burn fuel. You don't see that me, you don't see me sliding all over the damn track? Nah, yeah, I can burn fuel. Yeah, sure, let me push a little bit harder. Maybe I'll spin the fucking car out. Fuck you, game. All right, here comes Leclerc. He's going to have DRS. I'm going to let him on the outside so I can still have the in inside advantage. We're going to have a battle here, folks. Oh, man, Leclerc trying every single direction. We've lost four seconds on uh, Porsche, so... Um, if it wasn't already said or blatantly obvious from other portions of the video, I am definitely holding up the rest of the field. So, um, tires are gone. They're at 50s, 50s on the left rear and, well, basically both right, uh, both rears. So, they're both pretty close to 50%. And, uh, man, Leclerc is right there. He is going to be trying to breathe down our neck, trying to pass us. Oh, man, this has not, not been a fun time. I'm just really bad at saving tires, apparently. So, um, got to learn how to do that in this new tire model. Uh, F123 was a lot easier to save tires in this game. So, um, definitely got to change up my driving style um, to accommodate. But, uh, man, so far, we are looking to box the next time by. So, um... This will be lap 8, so it'll be boxing this time, or this next time by. Still actually kind of pulling Leclerc. Not by much, but I'm pulling him a little bit. He's gained on us a little bit, but this DRS zone is really help or really hurting us. Um, so we got to make sure we keep it on the inside. And we can't because the tire grip is so damn low with all the wear. And uh, Leclerc finally gets by us. And we're going to try to hang on to it here. We're going to be able to probably dive bomb him here. Yes, we are going to dive bomb him here. He gives us the space, barely. And we take the position. No, we're still side by side. I'm going to brake test just a little bit. That way I get DRS. And uh, we are going to get Leclerc down this straightaway for sure. So Daruvala has DRS. We have DRS. We're going to be pulling Leclerc now down this straightaway. We're going to dive bomb him here into Sector 2 and uh, slide it in there. Ruin the tires some more because we are coming down this time for a set of hards. Coming to box this time. Box, 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 box. And uh, they're going to have DRS, so boxing this lap. Here we go. Down to the pit lane. And I do have the assists on, yes. Don't judge me. Uh <laughs> turn in we got to press our uh, fancy little button here and that's optimal so it's gonna be a four second stop hards go on the car and we're holding for no reason why the hell are we holding uh, i probably lost a spot there that is for sure but uh, a 4.2 second stop not that bad we'll keep driving
see what happens on these hards. We got to make sure we can get them up to temperature pretty quick without destroying them. And we actually gained a pretty solid distance on these guys on pit road. So I'm, I'm going to say that our pit stop was probably better than those guys, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Try and avoid those marbles. And uh, we are actually three seconds ahead of Miney. Um, a second ahead of Leclerc, at least, if I'm calculating right. I could just be pulling that out of my ass, too. But um, so far, so good. Um, we're getting these hard tires warmed up. And we're going to see where we come out um, after this pit stop cycle. Oh, our DRS is broke. What the hell? God damn it. First race into this thing, and the DRS is already broke. And the and uh, what the hell is this new what the hell is this new guy's name? I don't know what his name is. Uh, he's gonna tell me about Teo coming down to pit road, but he's not gonna tell us about uh, the DRS being broken. So great job, great job, team, great job. I actually, I think I lost time. I'm not gonna lie. I think I definitely lost some time. Nah, we're good. We're in front of Leclerc, so that's gonna be yeah probably. Just right around a second, we gained some time on Porsche Air, too, so, um, yeah, just over a second and a half on, uh, Leclerc, so, that's actually a pretty good stop, uh, I will say that, and, uh, we're right around five seconds on Porsche Air, so, I don't think we're gonna make that up, but, um, he's got a lap pressure tires in us, so, it's gonna be very difficult to make that up, but, uh, I think we'll be okay, I think we'll be okay, just try and score a podium here, that's the main goal. So we've got another little uh, challenge here, I guess. These little in-race challenges, I'm guessing, are used for skill points or something um, to get the uh, ratings back up. But we've got to score a lap time of 145.76, which I think will be possible, but we're on the hard, so we are going to be a second or two slower than our uh, soft tire times. So um, it looks like our best lap is a 144.84, so it might not be as easy as I think it is. But uh, yeah, I think that's possible. It's definitely possible, but it's not going to be easy. So we're going to keep pushing here. We've gained a lot of time on Leclerc. He's about just under three seconds behind us. And uh, we're just over four seconds behind uh, Porsche Air. So we're out here on our own, no man's land, which is really good. This is what I really need just so I can just start ticking off laps and, um, you know, all, not worrying about defending or anything, which we do, main, we do maintain that lap speed. So... 144.38. Holy hell, we're faster than we were. So, I'll take that. We gained that uh, gained that objective, so I'm curious to see what that does for us um, in the ratings. But, uh, so far, just kind of hanging out, driving around. We'll see what we can do. So just a quick little update here. Uh, we have caught Teo Porsche just a little bit more, but uh, we've really pulled on McClare. He is just over four seconds behind us. Um, Porsche is just about three and a half seconds behind or ahead of us, so um, we have definitely caught Porsche just a little bit, but not enough to where we're in striking distance uh, for DRS. So we're just pushing. I mean, we are pushing so hard. The car feels so much better on these hards, and the fact that we only have to go eight laps on these, I'm going to be pushing 100% the entire time because I know for a fact that I can. Yes, I'm going to wear the hell out of these, but. I know for a fact that I can make it 12 laps with a little bit of a problem. I'm not going to lie. I, I burned the tires off in 12 laps. I'm not going to lie. But uh, with eight laps, I feel like I can burn them off uh, a little bit harder and uh, or push a little bit harder and burn them off at the same rate that I did in the uh, sprint race and uh, hopefully gain a little bit of time on Porsche Air because I feel like these guys aren't pushing um, as hard or nearly as hard as they can be. So, um yeah, we've already gained a second on uh, Leclerc just in that little, uh, just in Sector 2 and part of Sector 3. So um, it's possible to catch them, but we've only got a few laps to do it. So we're coming to three laps to go here in the feature race. Um, just about three seconds separates us from Porsche Air. Like I said, it's possible. We just ran the fastest lap of 144.09. So um, we are the fastest car on track right now, according to the lap times. So yeah. Um, if we can catch Porsche, that'd be pretty cool, but I'm not really pu putting anything on it. Um, but slowly but surely, we are making up a little bit of time here. So we just crossed the line for the final lap of the race. We've lost some time on Porsche, so I don't think we're going to catch them. But, uh, man, our, our gap to Leclerc has really, really expanded. 
I don't know if they're going slower or if I'm just flying around here on these hards compared to them, but uh, plenty of time for them to uh, not catch us. So I think we should be okay to the end of this race. We'll be finishing P2, it looks like, unless we screw something up. Alrighty, coming out of the final turn. Looks like Porsche is going to win the race, and we finished P2, so I'll take it. I will take it. We get our podium in our first ever Formula 2 race. Beautiful scenes. We are the driver of the day, too. Even though we, we started on the pole, we lost the first position, and then uh, really couldn't chase Porsche down uh, the rest of the race. But, uh, man, oh, man. Just... Unbelievable scenes. Getting our podium in the first Formula 2 race. Unbelievable. Look at the celebration there for Teo. Um, he is our teammate, so great to see him win as well. Um, not really not upset about that. That'll be good for the uh, owner's points. Look at this podium. I'm just really confused. I'm just really confused why I'm in a uh, Alpine Academy car. That just blows my mind because... Definitely should be in the same car as my teammate. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, yeah, I'm also in the Ferrari uh, Academy, so really not sure what's going on there. But look at the scenes on the podium. So we'll take a look at the results from the feature race. Uh, Porsche won. We were second, and uh, Leclerc ended up on the uh, podium as well. Miney and Vesti are the top five. We'll go down through here to show you the rest of the results. That was a 23 gap or 23 second gap from first to last. Beautiful scenes there. Take a look at the uh, weekend results as well. So Teo Porsche ends up with the most points. He scored 25 points from the winning the feature race, one from the sprint race, and we ended up with two points less than him. So that qualifying on the pole and the sprint race and our feature race position were very beneficial to our points. Scroll all the way down through here. P11 is Daruvala. He's the last guy that has scored points. He scored in the feature race, so pretty looking pretty good so far. All right, so taking a look at the ratings here, we ended up getting a lot of experience. We ended up ranking up there. Same with awareness and pace. Focus, just barely missed that one. So um, with that, our overall rating is 67 now. So we'll go over here to the menu, I believe. Oh, no, it's going to send us to the next race, isn't it? All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to drop a like. It helps me out a ton. If you want to see more of this, drop a comment below. I had a lot of fun playing this first Formula 2 race. I just want to progress through the uh, career mode, driver career mode, and hopefully we can make it into Formula 1. We are following the Ferrari Driver Academy, which uh, it should be good. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, hope you have a great night.